If you want to build a new PC around the RX 9070 XT from AMD, then you came to the right place. I show you three different PCs with this graphics card at three different price points. The cheapest PC, the best value one, and then the fastest one for gaming. I show you the level of performance that you can expect in different types of games with these systems and I will also tell you about the best monitor to pair with each PC. The link to these gaming PCs will be down below in the video description with the latest pricing and availability in your region. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's start. We start by talking about the best value system around the RX 9070 XT. This one has the Ryzen 7 7700X CPU, which is one of the best price to performance CPUs in the entire market, in my opinion. This one has eight cores. It's amazing, not only for gaming, but also for streaming and content creation. So with this system, you can do more than just gaming. But if you want to do just gaming, well, since you get this 7700X, you can play high CPU demanding games like Valorant or Fortnite, competitive settings and achieve very very high FPS. But I will be talking about the exact level of performance in just a second. Here you get an aftermarket CPU cooler with RGB that looks amazing and is going to be top tier for this Ryzen 7. And then you get a beautiful looking case with plenty of airflow from Li and Li in the Langul 207. This is one of the best value cases in the entire market, so you don't have to worry about airflow or anything like that. Here you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, so you get plenty of memory for gaming, streaming, and content creation. And then you get a very good quality power supply for your PC not to be at any risk. Here you also get Wi-Fi included and a one terabyte SSD. Now, in terms of the level of gaming performance, since you get the RX 9070 XT, you get very similar performance compared to the RTX 5070 Ti, meaning that you will be getting top tier performance for 1440p. And I'm talking about over 130 FPS in the most high demanding titles out there, high to ultra settings. And then if you want to play at 4K, you can also expect around 80 plus FPS on average. So very, very strong performance when it comes to 1440p and 4K resolution, no matter the type of game. And if you want to play high CPU demanding games, as I said before, those esports shooters, then you can expect over 300 FPS on average. So feel free to go with a 360 Hz 1440p monitor, possibly even 480 Hz if you play very easy to run games like CS2 or Valorant. This PC, by the time of filming, is going for 1370 bucks if you can get the 9070 XT at MSRP and it's going to be a bit more expensive if you want to get more storage. Let's say you want to go for a 2TB SSD instead of a 1TB one because maybe you need more storage than 1TB then it's going to be closer to 1400 USD. Still really good in terms of price to performance considering the level of gaming performance that you are getting at 1440p and 4K resolution. Also, one quick thing that I have to say is that the 9070 XT is much more improved when it comes to ray tracing performance, so if you want to play with ray tracing enabled, this is also a great system. Now, if you have less money to spend but you want to get the 9070 XT, then I recommend you getting the Ryzen 5 7600 CPU instead, which is also an amazing price performance CPU. Now, it's not as great as the 7700X because you don't get 8 cores, so if you are a content creator, for example, you will greatly benefit from those 8 cores and I highly recommend you going with the 7700X. But if you want to do just gaming, the difference between the 7600 and the 7700X on average is not that much. That being said, you still get a really good 1440p ultra gaming experience, especially if you play high GPU demanding games, for example, Cyberpunk 2077. Now, if you play high CPU demanding titles, you will be achieving less FPS, but it's not going to be a mind blowing difference. The main difference here is going to be the price. And with this system, you are going to be spending around $100 less. So the total price will be under 1300 USD, which is an amazing price again, especially considering the level of gaming performance that you are getting at 1440p and 4K. Now, if you want to play at 1080p, you can expect even higher frame rates, but with the 9070 XT, I would highly recommend you getting a 1440p monitor or a 4K one, depending on the games that you play. If you want to go for a 1080p monitor, you can get away with a cheaper system. So if you want to save money and you have a 1080p monitor, I do recommend you downgrading the graphics card to the RX 9070 non-XT or below. But of course, it's up to you and if you want even faster frame rates at 1080p, you can get the 9070 XT and get faster frames. And then if you want the fastest PC around the 9070 XT, I recommend you upgrading the CPU to the Ryzen 7 7800X3D. This CPU is one of the fastest CPUs in the entire market 
and in high CPU demanding games, you will receive a benefit from having this CPU. Now, in games like Cyberpunk 2077, for example, which is high GPU demanding, you will not notice a big difference, especially if you play at 1440p or 4K high to ultra settings. But if you want to play games where you need every FPS like CS2 or Valorant or Fortnite competitive settings, or you want to play high CPU demanding titles, like Hogwarts Legacy or Flight Simulator, then you will be achieving higher FPS with the 7800X 3D and I would strongly recommend you going with this CPU if those are the types of games that you play on a daily basis. Now the price for this entire system with the 7800X 3D and the 9070XT is going to be around 1500 USD so it's the most expensive system inside of this list but still a very fair price considering that you get one of the fastest CPUs in the entire market along one of the fastest graphics cards in the market in the 9070XT. Now if you want to go Nvidia instead you can go with the RTX 5070 Ti which I've made a video about the best PCs around the 5070 Ti that you can go ahead and watch in the top right corner of the screen and if you need personal PC help that's going to be the top link in the description. Just keep in mind that the prices for these systems with the 9070 XT will depend on stock and availability so if you want to check the latest pricing and availability in your region remember that the links will be down below in the video description. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.